Well, I only got two hours of sleep last night because I didn't get home from skit practice till about midnight, and then I had to deal with a roommate crisis till about 2.30 in the morning. Couldn't fall asleep either because I am currently out of my sleeping pills. Um, so then didn't fall asleep till about 3.30 in the morning, and then my alarm went off at 5.30. So we're having a good morning. All right. Yeah. My name is Hannah Skein, and I am a nationally ranked figure skater. I've been skating for about 14 and a half years. I started when I was four years old. Her older sister was a skater. She used to come to practice all the time and watch her and then when Hannah was old enough to do a sport, um, she's the third child so I told her she had a choice of ice skating or karate which her brother did and she chose ice skating. I've always had a really close relationship with my family. I have one sister and four brothers. They've really helped raise me and help shape who I am today. Um, I wouldn't be here without them. I'm very close with them. My parents have always been very supportive of me and my skating career. They've done everything they possibly could for me. Oh. They've never missed a competition, so I'm, I'm very appreciative for all of that. Oh, wow. Yeah, actually, that was better, way better than Hannah. I remember one of the first um, competitions for little kids. She was hiding behind her coach, wouldn't go out. I could see her looking between her legs. She started off being really scared, and then as... Uh, time went on, she was kind of a different person when she was out on the ice. She turned into a clear skater. Now I am a senior level skater, so I am in the senior ladies category, which is the highest category you can be in. So today I only have a lesson with my choreographer. She's working on um, putting together my long program because we've already finished my short and I'll be competing with these programs starting in probably July. So she has to finish it up so that I'll have at least a few months to practice them and perfect them before I start competing. My name is Jenny Branson and I am Hannah's beloved, most darlingest coach ever. Right now, we're working on Hannah's short program for the year, and Hannah's long program for the year, and Hannah's artistic programs for the year, and Hannah's also joining our theater team, so Hannah has to learn theater programs for the year. I see Hannah going to nationals with her ice theater team and getting a title. Possibly a showcase title and possibly making it to sectionals because she does have that ability. And past sectionals? Hmm. In order to get past sectionals, she needs to do all of her triples, which is for anybody an incredibly hard task, but also harder when you're in college and studying and committing yourself to so many things. It's, it's a hard task. Do something. I've been done in like six months, so I'm 99.9% .9 sure I'm going to fall. Hannah actually can do all of these jumps. She just has to get her buns in the ice and skate a little bit more. What a nice coach. So a triple loop jump is one of the harder jumps that I'm working on. It's when I go up in the air and rotate three times and then have to land on one foot um, and I go up off of an outside edge. Uh, right now my problem with the jump is that I'm not completing the rotation fully. I'm about a quarter rotation cheated. She is not heavy by any means, but in ice skating, like two pounds makes a difference. So when you're trying to launch your body up into the air and rotate three times, like two to three pounds throws it off. I'm also working on some other triple jumps, but I'm a little bit scared of some of them just because I've had really hard falls. Um, I'm working on triple sal, and that's one that I've always been really scared of because that's the one that three years ago I fell and I sliced my leg open on. I was like halfway through the second run through when I was going up for my triple sal. It just like went up really weird and really funky, and when I came down, I landed right on the heel of my blade and I at first didn't even realize I did it and I got up and kept skating and then I looked down and my whole leg was completely open and flapped open. They like brought a chair out onto the ice and rolled me off of the ice 
and then my mom saw it and she passed out. It took quite a while to get her confidence back after that because it was just scary, you know, to have your blade cut through your leg. <laughs> you know, once she got back out, she was actually stronger than before. No one man should have all that power. The clock's ticking, I just count the hours. Stop tripping, I'm tripping off the power. She's grown up a lot in skating. And skating isn't always the best place to grow up. I've made a lot of really good friends through skating, but I've also had a lot of problems. Um, about two years ago, I went through something really big with um, a group of skaters. I had kind of gotten involved with a male figure skater who was also involved with multiple other female figure skaters, and it caused a lot of drama. There was also conflict between our coaches, and one day it all blew up, and um, his dad was his coach, and he was kicked out of this rink, so then um, a group of the skaters had to leave the rink, so they kind of took it out on me. They started, you know, lashing out at me, um, blocking me on all social media, talking about me to everyone in the skating world, and the skating world is very small, so when something happens, everyone finds out. Um, one of my ex-friends is here. One of the ones that was involved in the drama that I went through. And it's one of the ones I was very close with. So it's a little bit uncomfortable on the ice right now. But still have to practice, still have to push through. This is something that I used to love for myself. And you know, before I met those people, I loved skating more than anything. And I really want to get back to that place and not worry about those people or worry about anyone while I'm skating. I need a moment, no 